first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so here in this lesson number eight on the topic geometry that is based on a concept of triangle so now we are going to learn the concurrent of a triangle right so before understanding all the concept so first always start watching my videos only from lesson number one if you directly come and watch this video you can't able to understand what i'm saying right so always start learning from lesson number one so introduction about the geometry concept based on triangle and then we have learned the basic proportionality theorem and then we have learned how to find the area of a triangle and where we have to use half bh and where we have to use eroines formula right and in the previous video we have learned the eroines formula and we solve some of the question they have given the in center value all the line distance has been given based upon this we have applied the eroines formula and we found the area of a triangle so sides value everything so till lesson number seven we have learned many concept coming to this lesson number eight many students usually while learning a geometry topic they have this doubt right because uh, if I draw three lines right this is the thing what we learned in the previous video so we draw a median like this another median like this and connecting another median like this and this point in some question I have said this as centroid right in some question I have said this as in center and many students have a doubt that whether centroid in center both are having a same meaning no both are not having the same meaning if you take a concurrent of a triangle me concurrent means a connecting point right if we draw different different angle lines based upon that there will be a connecting point that connecting point can be defined in various ways one is a centroid second is the in center and we have another concept called circumcenter circumcenter right and ortho center so there are four concept right based upon the center point we can define the triangle center point in four different way one is called a centroid in center circum center and the ortho center each and every word has a different different meaning right but here if we are preparing first thing we are preparing for a competitive exam right we are not preparing for the school exams if if it is a school exam steps matter right everything matters but if it is a competitive exam like ssc railway or a state level competitive exam the final answer is important we have to go, we are going to mark the final answer the steps are not important just understand what is called in center what is called circum center and what is called center that is enough why because many students go deeply to learn what is called in center what is called circum center then they got lot of confusion why because in the school times we have a geometry box usually in center will be drawn like this at first they will uh, draw a line like like some centimeter 10 centimeter etc and marking this point using a protractor they draw an angle which is 60 degree for example let's say 60 degree here right? and then by using a compass by taking any 5 centimeter in a scale and they will put a from this point they will put a arc here so similarly at a 5 centimeter they will put another arc here Again, taking 5 cm, from this point, they will mark another arc. From this point, they will mark another arc. So, we, we got a cross here. And then from the center point, we will join this mark. Then, this is called as an angle bisector. And if you draw another angle bisector here and another angle bisector here, and the joining point is actually called as in center. This has been drawn in the school time by using a geometry box like protractors, compass, everything. But now we are preparing for a competitive exam, right? So all those steps are not needed. Just you have to understand what is called as centroid, exact meaning of centroid. What is called as in center, exact meaning of in center and exact meaning of circum center and ortho center. So those stuff we are going to learn in this lesson, right? So here I am not going to teach ortho center alone. Why? Because if I teach ortho center, students might get confused so that's the reason i'm going to teach you three important concept what is called centroid what is called in center and how to draw a diagram for a circum center right so let's understand all the three concepts here first let me talk about the centroid what is called as a centroid so centroid is what we learned in all the previous videos right so let's take a b c triangle so bc let's assume bc is 10 centimeter 
right we can mark the center point 5 cm 5 cm here so 5 cm 5 cm midpoint of bc and from one vertex if i draw a line to this point which is called as a median so similarly ac center point and we are drawing a line from the opposite side of the vertex a line which is called as an another median so similarly ab center point and we are drawing a line connecting c this point is called as a centroid so friends understood or not if we draw a median if we draw a median to a triangle we will get a centroid so friends understood what is called as a median right so opposite side center point right we are connecting from this vertex a straight line which is called as a median i have told you many concepts so median splits the triangle into two equal half if we draw three medians, then it splits the triangle into three equal half. So we have learned many stuff. And in a median, you have to know one of the important concept. So this line distance will be two and this line distance will be one. Always remember that if we draw a centroid, which cuts the median in the ratio one is to two. While teaching median concept, I have explained at the last. So this is called as a centroid. If we draw a median line for three vertex of a triangle, then the point that is meeting, which is called as a centroid. Now in center. What is called as in center see let's assume this as a b and c we can mark some angles here let's take this angle is 70 degree right and this angle is 60 degree and this angle is 50 degree okay so in center in center means right angle bisector you have to remember this word angle bisector if we draw a median we will get a centroid if we draw an angle bisector we will get an in center what is called as angle bisector a line right that crosses an angle see this is the angle 60 degree right from this point the vertex if i am drawing a line but this line should exactly cut the angle into two equal half this is total angle is 60 degree so if i draw a line it should bisect the angle that means this should be 30 degree and this should be 30 degree so friends understood or not similarly from this point we are drawing an another line which is the angle bisector angle bisector means this 50 degree is split into two equal half 25 degree 25 degree so similarly here we have 70 degree drawing a line angle bisector to this which means here the total angle is 70 degree so this will be 35 and this will be 35 degree so now now, this joining point is called as an in center so friends understood if it is a median joining point that is called as a centroid angle bisector that means the angle will be divided into two equal half right so if we draw a line like this then three line connecting point is called as an in center then what is called as a circumcenter see circumcenter is so a B and C. Let's take this triangle ABC. Circumcenter. Circumcenter means perpendicular bisector. So here what I said is angle bisector. Here what I am saying is perpendicular bisector. So similarly for B and C, let's take the center point. So B and C, the center point is, let's take this point as the center point of B and C. From this point, I am drawing a perpendicular line. What is called as perpendicular line? This is called as a perpendicular line, making an angle of exactly 90 degree, which is called as perpendicular line. So from this point, I am drawing a perpendicular line. So when understood, what is the difference between this and this? So here I am drawing a perpendicular line, but here I am connecting this point with a vertex. That is the difference, right? I am not drawing a perpendicular line. From this point I am connecting the vertex. But here you can able to see, I have seen the, the center point of B and C. From this point I am drawing a perpendicular line to it. So similarly A and C, some perpendicular point, that is center point will be there. From this center point I am drawing a perpendicular line, 90 degree, 90 degree. Again. A and B, center point, let's assume this is a center point. From this point, we are drawing a perpendicular line, 90 degree. So now, this connecting point is called as a circumcenter. So a perpendicular bisector, right? A perpendicular line which is drawn on all the midpoints of a sides of a triangle. And if we draw a perpendicular line, that connecting point is called as a circumcenter. And this is called as a in-center and this is called as a centroid. So now I hope you understood the difference between centroid, in-center and the circumcenter. 
right so wherever if the question is based on a in cent in center just you have to remember only one word what is the word that you need to remember is the angle bisector right if you see a word centroid you have to draw median angle bisector in center perpendicular bisector circumcenter that is enough right you don't want to go deeply if you search in a internet or google you in every in center you can able to see they have they have drawn a circle here right they will be drawing a circle here if you take a circum center they will draw a circle outside like this so what is the meaning of it right why if they are drawing a circle inside the triangle so just listen carefully after marking this point right so after marking this in center based upon the angle bisector so this distance right so this distance and this distance and this distance will be same Right, all the three distance will be same. So that's the reason here they have drawn a circle which connect each side exactly of the triangle. So they will draw a circle like this. When you take a circum center, after finding this point, just here from B to this circum center point, from A to this circum center point. So this line, this line, and this line, right? So these three lines distance will be same. So from this point they take a compass and they will draw a circle which touches exactly b a and c so only they have drawn a circle outside which is called as a circum center right so in center uh, inside a triangle we have a circle circum center inside a circle we have a triangle right that's the difference so ortho center alone while teaching while solving questions right at uh, that time i can teach you Right. Why? Because if I teach now, you will get a confusion because ortho centers have uh, like obtuse angle, acute angle, we have major, many concepts are there. So we can learn ortho center at the last, but now try to understand the difference. Because many students would have, uh, would have, uh, sorry, many students have already, I have seen some comments in the second video itself. Sir, why you are saying this as a in center? Why, the, why you are saying as a centroid here? So most students have that doubt so I just want to clear it and you have to know this concept also right so always while solving a question remember that wherever you see an in center first thing that you need to strike in your mind is the angle bisector in the question if you see a circum center what you need to remember is the perpendicular bisector if they have given a centroid then you have to draw a median if it is a median so after drawing a centroid that cuts the median into two half that is two is to one ratio i have explained on the question itself right so once that's it i hope now you understood on the next video we can solve some of the question that is based on the concept of in center because here if we need to draw a if we need to find an angle so angle of this or angle of this in center then at that point you have to understand the angle bisector concept and we have to find the angle those concepts we can learn on the next lesson so before solving a question i just want to teach you this important concept and again i am saying don't go deeply right if you go deep, if you ask me to teach for a school students definitely i will not stop here i will take each and every concept in center i will explain everything right how you need to uh, use your compass how you need to use your protector and how to draw because school students need to learn all those stuff steps are not needed but you guys are preparing for a competitive exams definitely all those things are not needed so that's the reason i am saying yeah. so friends thank you so much for watching this video so see you on the next video solving a question that is based on a in center so for thank you so much for watching it Bye.